Hi, so today we have a special treat and that is Matt from Public. If you don't know what Public is, I'll put two clips, one for my favorite song and then one from the newest song they have to show you who Matt is. Yes, ladies, he's an eye candy. I'm gonna get that out of the way right now. You're gonna like how he looks. <laughs> but I know the Public ladies that I know that I sent over here Hi girls, yes, I interviewed Matt. He is the realist, great guy. Um, so if you see the video get cut off, he had already answered all the questions at that point. We were just having small talk and I didn't know if it would cut off after 15 minutes, but we got all the stuff that I needed. So I'm just gonna let it cut off. Um, I do have two announcements. One, you may have seen that I, oh, that's just the chair. You may have seen that I took down two hard-hitting videos. Y you'll know what I'm talking about. I took those down because one of those people mentioned in those videos made a video about me, and now I can't find his YouTube channel. It's just gone. So um, maybe after I took down the video about him, he took down his entire channel. I don't know, but I can't find it. So either that or both my accounts are blocked, which you wouldn't even know about the account I just watched things on. So I don't know, but that. And then number two, our pal Jeff, who was telling me about all this. Um, I don't know what's going on with them. I had a serious situation with them and I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Oh, and it's already recording it. Okay. Right now. Uh, <laughs> video starting. Video. Hi. There it is. Oh, I've got. Sorry, this isn't my house. This is someone else's house. It's What's okay. That? Um, I'm so sorry to have to ask you to do this again. That's okay. No worries. One sec. But we oh, have oh, nice. my camera this time, so I'm prepared. Cameras, yeet. Yes. <laughs> this is my normal house now. The last house I had behind me was Zach Barrett, uh, Barnett's, the lead singer of American Authors. I stole oh. his house. Yeah. Good vibes. Well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, round two. Yes. Okay, so are you ready? Yes. Hit okay. me with it. So are you precise? Yes. Definitely. Determined. I Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, very clean. I remember this answer from last time. Yes and no. I am, I am very, very diligent about cleaning when I do clean, but sometimes when I've got a lot on my plate, my place is really dirty. Okay. Not like super horrendously dirty, like college frat dorm room type stuff, but like yeah. enough that I'm mentally perturbed. Yeah, probably not as bad as my room right now. <laughs> I don't believe it. I bet it's so clean in there. No, <laughs> I'm a college student. It's not clean. Okay, well then you got an excuse. Yeah. Analytical? Yes. Reliable? I hope so. <laughs> I mean, right now you're reliable to me. Woo! You're here. Two for two. Observant? Yes. Skeptical? Didn't used to be, but I am very heavily so now. I used to be super trusting. Uh, and, and now I take everything with a grain of salt. Yeah, me too. Hey. <laughs> Responsible? 
Yes and no. Yes and no. Both. Middle ground. Five out of ten. Uh, it's six or seven out of ten. Yeah. Selective. You say selective? Yeah. Sometimes. Not about food. I just kind of eat anything. Uh, selective about what? Is there like a... Um, it's a selective with who they open up to. Oh, yes. Yes, I'd say I'm, I'm open with a lot of people, but like the most open version of Matt does not get seen by everyone. That's, that's a fact. Okay. Are you economical? Not recently. I've been spending a lot of money on DoorDash. Yeah. I Usually. Mean, yes, I'm frugal is a better word for it. I, mean, I don't I like spending money unless I have to. Did you agree with that? You've been spending money on I things. Okay. I, I heard. <laughs> I don't like to spend it, but it has What up, to... sis? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, that's all in there. Okay, now I need to go to the other thing. Other things. <laughs> okay. So, here are some strengths of your personality. So, <laughs> are you loyal? Yes. Good. Undyingly loyal. Are you kind? Undyingly? Undyingly? I would die to be loyal for someone. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> are you kind? Sometimes. Most times. Yeah. I mean, you're kind to me every time I see oh. you, so. Oh, it's because you guys are so sweet. Oh, thanks. Um, <laughs> hard working yes I am contrary to the beliefs of the public posts I am very hard working I promise you <laughs> all right um, are you practical yes mostly yes so, there's always like a there's always like a sliver of no's in there but I think for the most part I'll be practical so here are some weaknesses are you shy no. I didn't think so. Okay. <laughs> Are you worried? Like, do you worry Always. About? Yes. I'm always worried about something. Yes. Yeah, mostly about things that are out of my control, which is not a good way to be. Yeah. Are you overly critical of yourself and others? I remember this answer from last time. Most, most definitely. Because I, I told you last time that I'm very critical of what I do. And then I hold everyone to the same standard I hold myself. So yeah. yes, most definitely. I don't know I mean, if it's a weakness though. It's, it's got its negatives, but it's not. I'm here now. We're doing, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think it was a weakness. Every time I read that, I'm like, it doesn't really seem like a full weakness. It could, it could potentially be like a mental blockade or, or maybe a, a social weakness, like maybe it's, it's, it's a turn off to some people that I would normally get along with. Yeah. yeah. In the Are you of the all world. work and no play? Oh no. I love playing. <laughs> Big play guy. Okay. So here are some of your likes. Do you like okay. animals? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like healthy food? No. <laughs> <laughs> My diet consists of like, I mean, I, I, eat, I eat healthy after workouts. That's pretty much the only time I eat healthy. Otherwise, I, I just went through a bag of Twizzlers last night in like 30 minutes. 30 not, minutes? Not like the giant bags, but like bigger than the king oh. size bags. Okay. But it's like, I'll, I'll eat whatever, man. If I'm hungry, I mean, my favorite thing is Flamin' Hot Cheetos right now. There's a bag over there. There's a bag in my cupboard. Um, <laughs> so I just, I just eat, man. Oh, how was that sandwich last <laughs> night with the Cheetos? The, the Cheetos got a little soggy. Um, I think it's because they were right next to the bread, and the bread had butter in it because I was making like a grilled cheese type thing. So maybe next time I'll put them more interiorly so that they don't get so yeah. butter-laden. Yeah. Um, do you like books? Yes, I do love books. 
I've not read one in like six months, but I do like escaping into books. Nature? I don't love nature. I love oceans, beaches. I love scuba diving, but I don't love middle of the woods camping bug scenario. I fucking hate yeah. bugs. Freaking hate bugs. Sorry, it's late. <laughs> Language slipped there for a second. No, mosquitoes are the bane of my existence. I, they, just, they just swarm me whenever. Like, I'll step out in my backyard for like two seconds and come back with like five mosquito bites. There have been um, spider crickets coming into our house. What are spider crickets? They're, they're a mix Hold on, I'm of- I'm looking them up. No, please don't. <laughs> they're, are they gonna haunt they're my- They're disgusting. I don't mind spiders. I'm actually cool with spiders. They're like my pals. Yeah, I don't I care about spiders, but I can't do crickets. Spider. And I definitely can't do spider crickets. Do a spider cricket. I don't mind that. Crickets are fine. Um, the things I don't like, I wonder if it's how, it's either house centipede. Ew. <laughs> Is that what they are? Hey. Yeah, house centipedes. I hate house centipedes. Dear Lord. It says, here's why you should never kill a house centipede, but you know what? I'm going to act like I never saw that article and uh, <laughs> just go ahead and mark a lot of them. I've found like three of them in my sink, like whenever I wake up in the morning um, and they can't escape from the sink because it's just too, I was going to say shiny, but it doesn't have anything to do with obstacles. It's too rounded, we'll say. So yeah. And then in the spring, stink bugs like to come in my window. Yeah, stink bugs and I are like the only only bug I hate is a mosquito. I hate mosquitoes because they will. Mosquitoes stab leave the us alone. What? Mosquitoes mm -hmm. leave Kelly and I alone. I don't know if it's like because of maybe like the fragrances I wear, or I've maybe it's like, like a musk to, I have. I've heard it has to do with like blood type. Potentially, like I'm very, blood types like, are I'm like super them. vascular. Like my whole body is like a one big vein. So I'm curious if that has anything to do with it too. Just the blood flow that I have going through. Maybe they can sense that like heat vision. <laughs> I don't know. They love me and I just, I, I despise them. So, <laughs> so I'd say camping in nature scenarios is a big no-no. I love hiking. Love hiking, love climbing, love scuba diving, hate mosquitoes. All right. Do you like cleanliness? Yeah, that kind of rolls in with the, uh, yes, I love things. I love things done to my own degree of cleanliness. And when someone doesn't, it's the same thing with the holding yourself to standards. Yeah. So like when John and I lived together, John didn't do the dishes correctly. He did the dishes. <laughs> he just didn't do them correctly. So just like, <laughs> there's a way to do these things. Um, do you dislike rudeness? Yes, yes. I think rudeness is unnecessary. Yeah, I think, I think you can be rude if the, um, not the opportunity presents itself because it's dumb. If something escalates to the degree where being rude is the way to say like someone needs to stop something, then yes, I think that's fine. But to come off with someone, that, especially if you don't know, or if you're in a bad mood, and it's like a friend, like being rude is not the answer to anything or standoffish or whatever it is. You're never too good for somebody. Um, do you hate asking for help? I used to. I used to, I used to hate it. I've gotten a lot better with it. I'd say I still hate it, yes. Um, but I do ask for it now. I used to never ask for help. Yeah, Kelly tells me I need to sometimes, and I hate doing it. You really do. Because I hate oh. asking people for things. Like, that's me. Like, I hate doing that because then I feel so guilty oh. about having to ask. That's at least a percentage. I, I think there are two different scenarios. I think, I think there's some, some that will definitely help you out. Um, in this, like, if you actually need help doing something, then I think it's, like, a pride thing. Like, I can't do this by myself. I want to do it by myself, but I really need you, your help on this. But if you're asking for like objects, it's different. It's just like, uh, it's kind of the same thing actually. Like if, if you really, really need it, then it's a pride thing. Yeah. So yeah, I'd say I'm very prideful and that 
affects my pride asking for help because it means I can't do it by myself. Do you hate taking center stage? No. I like the stage. Stage is cool. <laughs> I remember that last time. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't aim to be center stage, but if the opportunity presents itself and that's kind of where I am, then just like, I'll take it. I'll, like I'll, when you do your cartwheel? <laughs> that's, side, that's kind of behind the stage because John's still center stage for that. Um, no, but the attention is kind of on you. Yeah, I don't know. I, I like those things. I, I don't really know what I mean or what you mean. Get out of here. Uh, probably just honestly um i don't i don't go out like on social media and like try to make myself like the center of attention there i think performing is different i think like we're there to be artists and to be performers and i think like if i'm taking center stage then i'm maybe i'm doing something right maybe i'm doing something wrong i don't know it just depends on scenario um but i don't avoid it I don't go out of my way to be like, I can never be in that position. Um, but I've had to learn how, when that time comes, what to do with it. Um, Cause there's some people just built for it completely and utterly like they love that. They want to be there all, all the time. Uh, and there's some of us, like I'd say me and Ben, I didn't say John is like center stage all the same, but Ben and I, I think are not as used to it. And I think we, we're going to have to become used to it at some point. Nice nails. Huh? Imagine nails. Oh, yeah. Gang, gang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was a half shadow hunter, half warlock. You were half what? Half warlock? Half shadow hunter, half warlock. Nice. Shadow hunter. Such a cool name. It's cool. They slay demons. Pretty cool. I don't know what shadow hunter looks like. What are spelled that way? Is that, is that from the series Shadowhunter? Yes. Got it. I was, um, there's a Shadowhunter and a Warlock that are dating each other. So I was like half that Warlock, half that Shadowhunter. Gotcha. So they're offspring. You're their kid. <laughs> All right, what's up? Next one, hit me. Oh, that was it. <laughs> oh, sick, okay. <laughs> Yeah. I remembered half the answers I gave from that. I'm sure some of them were a little more off base, but yeah. Yeah, I we didn't say... talk about sprickets last time, but we did this time. It's also not my birthday this time. Yeah, not your birthday. What's a spricket? It's the spider cricket thing. We oh, we did not talk spricket. about sprickets last time. You're right. I remember saying I hated mosquitoes last time, though, because mosquitoes suck. Literally. And... and... <laughs> The name for spricket, people usually call them cave crickets. Yeah, see, I'm, cave crickets are cool. I see a little cricket, I'm like, what's up, bro? But I see a mosquito, I'm like, you're going to die. <laughs> see, I can, like, deal with, like, spiders. I don't kill them. And, like, I don't kill most bugs. Usually I let them outside. But Sorry. we get sprickets, like, every winter, every summer. Like, they're all over the place, everywhere. And I can't deal with them. I used to get kind of scared of spiders, like as a kid, and kill them. And then I saw some, something that was like, spiders are actually really good in your house for killing mosquitoes. And I was like, I was like you're my best friend. I'm like, I'm going to keep you guys around. Yeah. You're just helping with it. But yeah. But yeah, like I just started getting crickets like this, like end of summer. And like regular crickets. one would go under this like... I don't know what it is. What, what, what is that called? Like under the white part? I guess there's like a hole there. And it's, it's we have an way. archway. Okay. And I guess the bottom Not of it is kind of raised up from the ground a little bit. Like there's a hole. Interesting. A crevasse. And yeah. so there was a, there was loud cricketing <laughs> during one of my classes. Okay. And it was driving me insane. And then I saw it start to come out. So I ran at it and it ran back in. And every like 10 minutes, it would be just nonstop, like chirping. And it drove me insane. 
I believe it. Yeah. Any, I've got this like thing where I turn on the AC. I think it's only if it's the cool AC, not the hot air, whatever it is. But it has like dripping condensation behind my bedroom wall. So there's always like a. And just like, it's so frustrating. And luckily, obviously, like, I haven't had to turn on the AC, so I'm cool, but like, hot, hot heat, hot heat, hot heat weather. <laughs> when that comes back around, it's, like, it's gonna be no bueno. So we'll see how I hold up. If oh, I'm particularly I cranky. Uh, my friend Courtney told me ah. to tell you that you are very attractive. <laughs> Thank you, Courtney. I appreciate you. I don't know what you look like, Courtney, but I'm sure you're. Really <laughs> I appreciate was, the compliment. She was very <laughs> excited that I was talking Aww. to you. Well, Courtney, I don't know if I'm getting recorded through that or that down there, but oh, hi. <laughs> Ho hopefully, hopefully we have a show sometime soon. You can come see us live um, soon, but meaning, you know, hopefully within half a year. Um, yeah. I have no idea, honestly. But hey, follow us at Public Demand. What happened to you? <laughs> my, I have a game on my phone, uh -huh. and it speaks to me every time I get a notification. It speaks? What does it say? Susu! It's, it's a Sims mobile game, so it speaks <laughs> Simlish to her every time she gets a notification. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was really I, I play it so many times too, but it does not speak to me, so <laughs> I guess I'm missing out. No, I don't either. It, it catches her off guard every time it happens. <laughs> I believe it, yeah. That would scare me. <laughs> Definitely. Well, guys, I'm going to go make dinner. It's, it's getting okay. late over here. Wait, where are you guys at again? What state? Maryland. Maryland. Oh, yeah, so it's the same time. I try to eat before 8 o'clock, and I've been out of the house the whole day. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cook some chicken now. I haven't eaten yet. And maybe get some ice cream. Ooh. I ran out of Twizzlers. <laughs> I'll go buy more later. Nice talking <laughs> with you guys again. I'll see you online. Stay yeah. tuned. There are things coming. I can't tell you any more than that. I'm excited. I'm excited for things. I am so excited. All right. Peace, guys. Bye. Bye.